the mainstream media is constantly out of touch with their audience. You have them trashing games like Black Myth Wukong for accusations being levied towards the developers, but on the flip side, when a game fits their narratives like Dustborn, where you go around using your words as weapons to trigger your enemies, and it's heavily inspired based on 2016 political events, they praise it, saying it's such an amazing freaking game, but now gamers are calling them and these devs out on their BS saying you made a title for modern audiences, nobody wants to play it, and you deserve to fail. I have a few different things to show off, but before I get into the topic, if you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, join the community in my live streams, and consider supporting through Patreon or YouTube memberships. Now, I say this all the time, a game as bad as Dustborn does deserve to exist. It might not be a title that I like or that most people like, but these devs deserved to be able to create it, right? Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, Flintlock, The Siege of Dawn, Concord, Dustborn, they have a place, but it's just at the bottom of a trash can because nobody wants to play these titles. When developers focus on making content for modern audiences, it means they're creating games for absolutely nobody. And Red Thread really tried to make a mainstream hit here. They were talking for years about how it's heavily inspired by 2016 political events and they were just so passionate about these issues that they had to incorporate it into their game. We know that you go around using words as weapons to trigger your enemies, but the best player number that they could muster up was on launch day at 83 people. This is your big modern audience, guys. These developers and developers in the mainstream industry, whether they are Ubisoft's, EA's, it doesn't matter. They need to get the memo. They need to get it through their th thick freaking skulls that these titles don't sell. And it's hilarious to see failure after failure just proving us right that these games have no audience. And no matter how much the mainstream media tries to prop up a game, that doesn't mean it's going to work. Typically, when the mainstream covers a title like Black Myth Wukong, we see the Streisand effect. We see them trash it, try to get people to boycott it, and then it sells amazing. Happened with Hogwarts Legacy. They hated it because of JK. Stellar Blade, they hated it because of sexy women. Black Myth Wukong, they hate it because the developers were accused of being sexists, even though they didn't say anything that could warrant such an accusation. And they didn't shove diversity and inclusivity into their title. So the mainstream's been trying to cancel it, but it has not worked. And when they try to promote a title like Dustborn, it also doesn't mean that it's going to gain sales because everybody's practically pointing and laughing at the mainstream, and that is exactly what is happening. They truly thought that Dustborn was going to be a mega hit if they endorsed it, and well, that's not going so well. 48 players in-game right now, and 83 is the max on Steam, and it did launch on other platforms. We don't have those numbers, but one would assume they're relatively close to this. And yes, Red Thread is a group of indie devs. They are, you know, people who've only put out a couple games. But on the flip side, this has been getting so much media attention, you'd think it would be doing better than this. But if we head on over to social media and you simply type in Dustborn, all of the comments are roasting these developers, the mainstream media, and just this game in totality. Learning the law said IGN gave Dustborn a score of 7, and they only gave Black Myth Wukong a score of 8. Black Myth Wukong is like a 9, and Dustborn, I have not played it yet, but I think it's like a 2 or a three, and that's being extremely generous. I am going to live stream it soon because I do live stream the games that I talk about, even if I think they're going to be trash, but it saves you guys money. We can laugh, we can cringe, and that's what everyone's already doing on social media, but there's no way I'm going to pick playing Dustborn over something like Black Myth Wukong. They are not on the same level at all whatsoever, and it is an insult to amazing developers at Game Science that this title, Black Myth Wukong only got an 8 when something like Dustborn, a piece of activist slop, got a freaking 7. They are nowhere close to each other. 
people are laughing at the intro video where they're singing about how they're refugees and how they've always been outcasts, but, you know, they want to be your friend. They want to be your found family and how they all want to stick together. It's just so cringe-inducing, and I hate using the word cringe because the word cringe itself is freaking cringe, but there's no better way to describe this. These developers really thought this is what gamers wanted to play, and nobody's playing it, just proving that they are so out of touch with audiences. People are sharing clips like this where the main character goes around calling people racists. What fellow you're with? Uh, a black kid? Dresses like a writer? Does he know anything? <laughs> and then you become triggered racist. and you call them racist straight to their face and... You know, you've got this big dialogue bubble, so it's all across the screen and it's supposed to be impactful and make a point, and it's just so terrible. I cannot sit here and fathom the idea of developers going to the office every day or working at their computer every day going, this is gonna be amazing. I'm so proud of the work that I'm doing. How can you be proud of creating activist slop like this? There's just no way that this is you know, the case. Everybody's memeing on it. Everybody's laughing at it. And besides the mainstream media, I don't see anyone who would be part of this fabled modern audience that's admitting they're playing it or praising it. There's just nobody who really seems to be, um, you know, very excited about this title. And now that it's been a couple of days since release, it doesn't look like it's going to pick up steam, which, to be honest, isn't very shocking. I don't think we ever expected this game to do amazing, but I didn't expect it to do this freaking bad. I thought it was going to do at least okay for them, maybe a couple thousand people, but even that's not happening. At the end of the day, I don't feel bad for these developers because they created a game for a specific group of people, and average gamers who are not part of that group are roasting them and just giving them brutally honest feedback. I don't expect them to care. I don't expect them to make a statement, and I definitely don't think that they're going to address the fact that this game is a massive financial and critical failure, but it is hilarious to see this happen because they tried to make a game for a certain group of people and those individuals are not showing up. This fabled modern audience is not going to be swiping their credit cards, it seems, anytime soon for this game. And this is just another example of developers not trying to make a game for actual gamers and it being an epic fail for them. But that's all that I really had to discuss in this video. Let everyone know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, and if you didn't, give it a dislike. I appreciate Appreciate your support either way, but I'll talk to you all again in the next video really soon.